What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Aha, uh -huh. and we continue through their 1988 album Stay on These Roads. Uh, I'm very intrigued as we get to this tune, because this is a track that a couple of different people have mentioned. Um, so yeah, we're going to listen to Out of Blue Comes Green. Uh, let me make sure, do I have that right? Yeah, Out of Blue Comes Green, which, you know, we are speaking about what are often referred to as the primary colors. Uh, it makes me think of a color wheel, which is to say if we're out of blue comes green, we are on our way to yellow. Um, so whether these color palettes are used in a sort of tonal, atmospheric, or sort of um, sort of uh, metaphorical emotion uh, context, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, a blue emotion, I think that's one that is often used in, you know, artistic depictions, the idea of sort of being sullen or gloomy or cold, distant. Um, green is a bit more complicated, um, so I'm not sure um, straight out of the gate without any more context um, if we are working in sort of like tonal, emotional color palettes, what green might represent. Um, but it definitely, it's a name that indicates change. It's a name that indicates a dynamic situation, not a static one. Um, and so if we are moving um, from one color to another, the question then becomes, was this an external change, one brought by, again, something from the outside um, changing the hue, or was this an internal development, the idea of something um, altering the color palette from within and therefore like evolving into something else, which I have to say, um, you know, is it out of blue? Uh, yeah, out of blue comes green. It feels more internal in terms of the sort of phrasing of the verb um, comes rather than like, you know, blue is, you know, put on top of or erases green or something to that, or green erases blue or something to that effect. So, yeah, um, you know, as a general conceptual idea, it makes me think about um, tonal atmospheric emotions and it makes me think about a situation which is a process, an ongoing changing dynamic um, scenario. So we'll see if that has anything to do with it. It is admittedly a more abstract title, like there's a lot of words to it. I say sometimes that you know single word titles are hard to get a read on even if it's a word that has a lot of meanings um, because you know there's no context, there's no supporting words or phrases that say okay it's a, that idea and it's going to be running in this way. It's just that idea and you know there's so many different ways to go it's almost a bit opaque. opaque. Um, but this is an interesting phrase in that there's more to it. We get the sense of change, we get the sense of um, dynamism and once more like different um, statuses, different um, conditions, one growing out of another, um, but it's also at the, at the same time so sort of general and abstract um, that it's not clear to me in what context of human relations it'll manifest, but let's get it. This is AHA, uh -huh, Out of Blue Comes Green from their 1988 album Stay on These Roads. Clattery, syncopated percussion. Yeah. Yes. Ah, a wonderful groove already. L kind of layers. A little guitar flourish. Sound like we're talking about change or the absence of it. The synth up top. Almost like a brass
eyes have seen something and out of blue comes green. sure what's going to happen, if it's going to slowly just keep petering out, or if we're going to come back for like a full renaissance. Just goes to show though, um, you know, they got me once uh, by making me think that they had stopped a song and it actually wasn't over. Um, so maybe I'm just hyper vigilant now, I'm waiting for that. Uh, but yeah, that's a really cool tune. I do get why that stands out for people. Um, there were some like melodic layers in there that were just genius. Um, and that like really high again, it sounded like synth brass. It's just this like sort of angelic, like celestial touch up top in a couple sections. Um, that was genius. His voice, I mean, once again, like, it's not just the quality, but it's the way they write for his voice um, that really blows me away. Um, and it's just like he'll hit those, like, powerful notes where he's, like, high, but he's also sort of, like, you know, there's a lot of power behind it. Um, so, yeah, once again, it's another tune where his vocals um, really, really impressed me. Um, yeah, musically, or um, lyrically, I'm still, you know, I'm still a bit in the weeds. There were a couple lines where it did suggest, or at least it sounded like he was talking about, like, change, like, you know, a, a situation that is um, expressed over a period of time. Um, but like I said, it's like the things that his eyes have seen, and there was like a part of a line that I just wasn't catching, and then would come the, the title of the, the song, um, that phrase. Um, so I, there's still some elements I'm missing there, um, but it did seem like it was, you know, related to the dynamic nature or less so or not um, of situations in time. But um, do let me know, um, you know, give me an angle of this, on this one if you have um, some insight. Uh, do let me know what you think about the Sonics. Um, yeah, moving into the final part of this album, um, there's a couple, um, I think there's a an extended version of one of the tracks. Um, so basically before I go to the next album, I will try to hit any 
bonus or extended tunes that are included and the folders that have so graciously been made uh, made available to me uh, from a couple different people. Shout out to Philip and Han Solo, major champions of the channel, um, you know, sort of in enabling this um, angle of the party uh, to continue forward even before I get AHA albums in physical uh, form, though I'm definitely going to do that. This is, you know, a deep dive that I need to have um, in my own collection at some point. But once again, shout out to all the sort of, let's say, benefactors or, um, yeah, benefactors, right? Beneficiaries would be the other way. Uh, but yeah, of the channel, I really do appreciate you, and I know a number of other people do as well. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of this tune. I will see you next time. Peace.